What's going on? What's going on? Diesel World Reaction. This is your boy Juan Diesel, and I'm back with another video. This one's called Body Cam. Footage shows Cincinnati officer used racial slur while on duty. Let's get started. Racial slurs made by a Cincinnati police officer in uniform. Recently released body cam footage here shows Rose Valentino using a racial slur and also admitting to it. WCPO 90s reporter Jake Ryle walks us through this footage. The city manager in a statement said that the body camera footage is disturbing. Officer Rose Valentino called it an isolated incident, her using a racial slur while on duty. It's April 5th. Officer Rose Valentino is pulling into CPD District 3. Several cars are parked to pick up students at Western Hills University High School. Officer Valentino activated her lights and siren to get the drivers to move. You gotta move. Ridiculous. black teen who was leaving school raised his middle finger at Officer Valentino, which set Valentino off. Several seconds pass. Valentino then uses a racial slur under her breath. dug into Officer Valentino's personnel file. She She's racist. a 14-year veteran with CPD. Her performance report shows she consistently meets or exceeds standards for patrolling. She trains officers who recently graduated from the academy. Her supervisors say she's dedicated and a hard-working beat officer, adding she comes to work with a positive, motivated attitude, which is appreciated, and that she does great work. She's been reprimanded in the past for not turning on her body camera multiple times. And this is not the first time Officer Valentino has been on the city's radar for an issue involving race. In November 2018, she was one of three police officers involved in a lawsuit where Jerry Isham, a realtor, was showing a home to Anthony Edwards. Both are black. Court docs show she escalated the situation by aiming her gun at the two men and then putting them in handcuffs. The city settled the case for $151,000. And in March 2020, while off duty, she pushed and punched two family members and used an umbrella to damage a car. She was convicted by plea of disorderly conduct and was referred to a behavioral health center for anger management. Fast forward to the April 5th incident. According to the internal report, Officer Valentino acknowledged her statements weren't appropriate and that she was surprised the racial slur came out and that it didn't represent who she was as she an officer wasn't surprised or she felt about African Americans. She just she couldn't believe been she got caught. She sensitized to racially offensive language by music and hearing people talk on the street. In that report, she said her job is having a negative impact on her mental health. Something well, then she, she need to quit. Sought help for. According to the city manager, the disciplinary hearing process continues. We'll have more updates when they become available. 